Kenwood's new DDX9707S is packed with features like a 6.95 inch display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi, and even wireless or wired smartphone mirroring. These are all incredible functions, but it does have a few downsides. Stay tuned for those and our power testing in a few minutes. Inside the box is a wiring harness for power ground and speaker. External microphone for hands-free calling. GPS antenna. Dual USB extensions, the gray must be used with Android and the black must be used with iPhone. Radio trim panel. Hardware. Warranty card. Instruction manual. And double din head unit. Rear connections on this stereo are packed and include a 3.5 millimeter AV output, three sets of five volt preamp outputs for front rear and subwoofer, external microphone, GPS antenna, dash cam, AV in, iDynalink Maestro, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, Sirius XM, plus several pigtails including radio antenna, backup camera, front camera, third camera, video output, plus iPod and Android USBs. Anyone looking to upgrade to this head unit must take its price into consideration as this head unit sells for $700. With the right features, this is a price people are willing to pay, but there are some major cons here. Not only is the 6.95 inch display of the DDX9707S not HD, but it's not even a capacitive touchscreen. Am I going to pay $700 for a head unit without either of those? Probably not. The display is also motorized and has several different angle positions, plus opens up completely to reveal the disc slot for your Cisco CDs and Airbud DVDs. One of my favorite other features is the widget screen, which allows you to move sources around like a smartphone. Plus the widget source all the way to the right will animate JPEG images from a connected USB thumb drive. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which are two of the hottest features for car head units. These are phenomenal applications and I personally use Apple CarPlay every day. Video apps do not transfer. But Kenwood made another misstep here. For $700, the DDX9707S does not have wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay. You must use the USB cable connection to access both at all times. Both will charge your device at the same time during use, but again, not wirelessly. And trust me, wireless is better. The DDX has two rear USB pigtails. Again, the black one is to be used with iPhone for Apple CarPlay, and the gray one is to be used with Android for Android Auto. Both will display album artwork onto the home screen when in use. Kenwood added the new feature of wireless or wired Android screen mirroring and even wired iPhone mirroring. It's about time, they must be watching our videos. In order to perform this, you must download the Kenwood OA mirroring app from the Google Play Store. This app does not open when you click on it because it's not designed to. You must go into settings on the stereo device and change the mode from Android Auto to mirroring for Android or iPhone. You can also screen mirror using its rear 3.5 millimeter AV jack input. Using this input with the Kenwood CAC3 AV, you'll be able to screen mirror any device to your head unit with our iPhone and Android mirroring kits. I'll put links for them all in the bio below. 
The built-in Bluetooth allows hands-free calling, voice recognition, and wireless music playback. The radio tuner features 18 FM and 12 AM station presets. This stereo is Series XM ready with the SXV 300V1 Universal Tuner and steering wheel control ready with the Axis ASWC1 interface. Links for both in the bio below. Expand the radio even further with the iDentalink Maestro RR for a seamless interface with your factory system. The DDX9707S has camera inputs for front, back, and third camera. Plus, is dash cam ready with the DRV N520, which links with the receiver, giving you an extra pair of eyes on the road, providing safety warnings like departure delay in case you don't notice the light turn green, and even forward collision warning if you're getting too close to the car in front of you. When connected with a USB thumb drive for audio playback, the stereo is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video, it is compatible with playback of MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, H.264, and JPEG images. Customize your DDX9707S with several preset wallpapers or upload your own with a USB thumb drive. Adjust the parking grid guidelines. Kenwood puts you in full control of the audio settings. Let's test this out for ourselves and see what it can do. The first test we ran was two channels driven at 4 ohms, 14.4 volts, 1 kHz EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 30, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 19.89 watts RMS, 0.63% distortion, and 8.85 volts of output. We can switch between left and right channels. Our AMM1 read 15 watts, 8.86 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.17 amps of current. Down to 40 hertz, volume 30. Our HP picked up 19.8 watts RMS, 1.03% distortion, and 8.85 volts of output. Channel swap. Our AMM1 read 17 watts RMS. We got 8.8 .8 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.32 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs, which Pioneer rates at 4 volts. At 40 hertz, volume 37, we got 5.03 volts of output, with 0.13% distortion. At 1 kilohertz, volume 37, we got 5.18 volts, 0.91% distortion. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. Let's recap. $700, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, not wireless, wired. Wired and wireless phone mirroring. Bluetooth, motorized display, not capacitive, not HD. Are you buying the Kenwood DDX9707S? Let us know below. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.